Welcome back over 50 fans. Today this Chiari Malformation 1 video is pertaining to what doctors suggest regarding exercise and working out after surgery. Um, as those of you that have already subscribed to my channel know I had Chiari Malformation type 1 surgery on April 9th and I was just recently um, able to return to work on the 22nd of May so everything is it's going well, and I was told by my doctor when he took the stitches out regarding working out to take things slow. Obviously, you know, that's a given. I mean, you've had brain surgery, but what basically does that mean? So I asked him, he said, you know, start out walking, start out at a slow speed, walk for about 15 minutes, you know, then, you know, you the next day bump it up from there. So that's kind of what I did. I started walking about three miles per hour on the treadmill. I did that for about 20 minutes and then I bumped it up to three and a half miles per hour, did that for 30 minutes to where finally I was walking for an hour at four miles per hour and I would just walk for 60 minutes and then I would leave the gym. Today I decided to do something different. I put on Pluto or Hulu, I can't remember which one it was, and I was watching a show and when it came to the commercials, I bumped the treadmill up to five miles an hour and I ran for the duration of the commercial. And as soon as the show came back, bumped the treadmill back down to four miles per hour and walked. So that's how I'm introducing running on the treadmill back into my regimen of what I did before I had uh, KRI malformation type one surgery. So basically when it comes to working out, if you're lifting weights, I would suggest if you did free weights, if you have someone that can spot you and you're probably saying, why do I need to be spotted for five or 10 pounds? My doctor told me to start out at 10 pounds, basically go through the motions once or twice. If you feel good, you know, bump it up gradually. So that's what I've been doing. The last three or four times I've gone to the gym, I've walked for the hour on the treadmill and then I go to do about 20 to 30 minutes worth of machines. If you're doing free weights, you're going to want to make sure you have someone to spot you because you have had brain surgery the first couple times, you know, you do it, you know, it might be nice to have somebody there that can help you if you have an issue. And if you don't have an issue, then they go about their business. You don't need them anymore. If you're using the machines, which for, for me, I, that's a personal preference. I prefer to use the machines. Um, just start out with something low and see how it goes. So I did, basically I would go through all my machines about 20 pounds. And then if it felt okay, I might bump the second rep up to 25, the third set of reps up to um, 30. And then the number of reps, I, I broke them down. So it's sort of like a pyramid, a pyramid, I, I guess, it, I don't know. I was always told it's just a pyramid uh, way of doing it. I, you know, uh, maybe it's like a method or I don't know what it's called. But basically you bump up, as you bump up your weight in five pound increments, you bring down the number of reps. So like say I would do... 12 reps of 20 pounds on whatever machine it was. And then I would do 25 pounds, but I would do 10 reps. And then I would do 30 pounds and I would do eight reps. So that's how I've always done it. And that's what I did um, now that I've you know, been going back to the gym. And it's gonna feel weird when you start using these machines because you know you start, you know, all of a sudden, you know, like I would be doing on the bicep machine, 80 or 90 pounds, and now I'm down to 20 and I'm like, it's like really easy to, you know, to move around, you know, and to, and to manage it. So I, um, you know, it took a little getting used to, but that would be my suggestion to you regarding exercise. Now, before I went to the gym, I just walked around the neighborhood, take a short walk, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes and then come back and then bump that up, um, based on how, how it feels. I mean, if you feel pain or you don't feel well, or you start getting dizzy spells, obviously, you're gonna to wanna to stop. So the first couple of times I would walk, I would take somebody with me, you know, just so that, you know, if there was an issue, you know, they could, you know, make sure that I, you know, you know didn't walk in front of a car or, you know, you know, injure myself or something like that. So I guess to recap, start walking around your neighborhood, um, bump up the increments of your walk, or maybe you know, like walk for a mile. If you've got a, if you've got it measured out and you know how far a mile is, walk for a mile down and back, or maybe half a mile down and back and then bump it up to a mile then a mile and a half or I would walk you know basically you know I've just got a, a I've got a path that I walk you know a direction you know or a route I guess it would be the better way of saying it 
So I would just walk that route. And as I started feeling comfortable walking that route, I decided I would go back to the gym. And when I was able to drive, you gotta have full range of motion. You've gotta be able to do that, look over your shoulder. If you can't do that, you got no business driving, um, just in my opinion. So that's just my perspective, you know, take it or leave it. But that's basically what I did. I, you know, once I got the ability to full range of motion and drive, I went to the gym, just like I said, start walking on the treadmill, you know, um, slow speeds for a short duration. And then as you bump up the speed, you can bump up the duration. Um, it's going to just depend on, on you, how you feel. If you feel like, you know, you know, you're losing your footing or, you know, this is something's just not right, then slow it down or just stop for the day and then go back, you know, another day. So, um, I would always, I'm trying to go to the gym every day. I always walk on the treadmill and try to do an hour. I'm introducing, you know, running like during the commercials. Just bringing that back slowly and seeing how that goes. And if it's not going well, then I just pull it back down and walk. And then I work my arms and upper body um, one day. And then the next day I'll work my, my legs and lower back and, you know, things like, you know, areas like that. So you always want to alternate back and forth. That's what I was always taught before I had the surgery. That way, you know, your muscles have a day to rest. So like if, you know, if you're working on your chest and your arms, the next day you don't want to go back and hit the same machines. You know, work on your legs, you know, um, you know work on your hamstrings, your lower back. And then the following day, go back to the arms. So I hope this was helpful. I know it's a little bit lengthy. I didn't mean for it to be, but I've seen some people asking questions on the TRI, TRI malformation boards. And... Um, you know, just brought up a good point, you know, I should do a video on this and then other people that, you know, come across and have the questions and they can go ahead and hopefully this helps them. So if you would, please, before you go, please subscribe, click that like button because likes really help. Um, I got a uh, comment from someone in Australia that really likes my videos and I thought that was really cool. So the likes help me reach more people. So that's what I'm trying to do. If you have a comment, please post it below or a question or if you have a suggestion for another video I'd be more than happy to do it I'm actually enjoying this and if you would share this with your friends and until next time over 50 fans take care